Hi peeps, it's Tess uh, making a festive video. My first festive video of the festive season, which is upon us, really. The festive season is upon us. And this video is basically an uh, observation, you know, it's, it's a, a comment on my observation of the festive season. and. Uh, I do believe that uh, I, I'm hitting on something here, which is that the, the Christian festival of Christmas is a family occasion, and yet the pagan view of Christmas is a community occasion. And I think that's the real difference between Christians and pagans, or atheists, you know. Christians see Christmas as a family occasion, it's for that small little unit that they call the family. Whereas with pagans, we want to expand our horizons of the people we meet on a Christmas Eve. We want to meet the community. We want to enjoy our neighbours. We want to have that excitement of you know, going out there with people you, you, you may say hello to and good day and all that during the year, but and Christmas Eve, the Christmas festival, it should be a festival of everyone you know, you know. It's, it's a community event. We should all be out there and embracing the, 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 the time of the year, you know, that is Christmas. You know, it's, it's like, a, it's supposed to be a festival. It's not supposed to be a meal you sit around and talk to your family with. It's, it's supposed to be an event where you, you go out there and you get really involved with everyone who lives around about you and get them involved with you and it's a time year where you can meet everyone in your community and, and get to know them and, and cherish the fact that they actually improve the area you live in by being part of the community you live in. And it's, it's, it's a part of celebrating the community, it's a part of celebrating the, the, the union of, that you have with everyone that lives around about you and appreciating their little input into the, the, the place you live, the, the, you know, the, the, the area you, you live in and, and you know, enjoying their company. You know, uh, well, it's being a, a, a sort of an atheist who loves big gatherings, I mean, I love, I love big gatherings of people. I think that's, that's really important. I, I don't know if it's, it's something that's the Scottish. It probably isn't, but I, I feel the Scots get really into it more than others. But then you look at uh, what other people do, when you see uh, celebrations around the world, there is this, this feeling within you know, human beings. We love to get together in big groups and, and celebrate the, the, the one event that we can all, you know, at, at certain times of year, we can all really get, get our minds around and, and you know, just love it. You know, just love being together and doing stuff where we're all aimed at the one point, you know, which is celebrating whatever's happening at the time. And it, it doesn't have to be Christmas, but Christmas is a time when everybody really wants to celebrate. They, we want to get out there and, and love life and enjoy each other's company and, and I think that's a pagan thing. Christians seem to want to have it just for tiny little groups, you know. Pagans want to go out there and dance around a whooping great big fire, you know. You know, and uh, you know, I think that that'd be great. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think we need to have a Christmas tree. We need a bonfire at Christmas. We want to, to take the, you know, the, the Remember, remember the 5th of November, you know, gunfire, blah, 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 plot, right? <laughs> Bring the bonfire up to Christmas and have a burning, gigantic bonfire that we can all dance around, whooping and wailing and getting out of nuts and patting each other on the back and enjoying each other's company, you know. That's what I want for Christmas. I don't want to be sitting eating overcooked turkey around a fucking table with four or five people from my family that I've spent all year getting to know and, and you know, well, all my life knowing, you know. I want to go out there and, and meet hundreds of people who live in all the houses around about me, you know. 
I'm like going into a gigantic banquet table and we all just eat pies and stuff our faces with soggy fucking, you know, vegetables and beautiful cooked fish and, and, you know, it doesn't have to be chicken or turkey, you know what I mean? Pork, you know what I mean? Big gigantic fish pies you can just stuff your face with, you know, and a gigantic bonfire you can dance about and whip and wail and, you know, you see, that's just me. I suppose I'm different. I'm becoming different. I'm changing. Have you not seen me change over the past two years? You know, I'm starting to, you know, well, yeah, I'm growing a beard. You know, I've got my cave picked out in the middle of Scotland for the zombie apocalypse when I'm going to you know, disappear and become a hermit. I mean, not quite yet, but you know, I've, got, I've got my cave picked out. I think I've already done a video on this, isn't it? Yeah, about, you no. Know, <laughs> <laughs> hamster powered electricity to run my you know, internet connection. Yeah, I think I did that. Milking hamsters for hamster cheese and stuff. Yeah. Okay, but no, really, I really think that the, the Christian idea of Christmas is uh, little tiny units, little people, or just you know, oh, it's just me and my family. And, well, we might go to church and meet other people, but then we go home and we eat our, our little dinners on the tables, around the table, we you know, just our family there and, and we, we, we exchange presents between the family, you know, it's, it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's, that's small, that's small that is. I'm very interested in the pagan idea of Christmas. Everyone goes out and meets in a field, you spread, you know, everybody brings a, a, a dinner and you all put it on the table and you all share it and you dance around the gigantic bonfire screaming and whooping and wailing and drinking and enjoying fucking shit and just loving being together and yeah, it's the end of the year, oh, yeah, you know. And you know, what we forward to, the, the, the rebirth of, of life when spring comes, you know. That's that's my idea of Christmas. It's not about fucking some guy in a red suit maybe giving you a present if you're being good. We've all been good, we've all been bad, we've all been human beings. We should just go out there and celebrate being human beings. Dance around the gigantic bonfire, whipping and wailing and drinking and eating and patting each other on the back and saying, Way, we've survived another year, motherfuckers, you know what I mean? And go on, Sky, throw another fucking gigantic bonfire at the earth, we'll survive that as well, you know? It, no, no, it's, it's like, that's... That, to me, that's what Christmas should be, a celebration of surviving another year. Birthdays, birthdays, you know what I mean? Christmas is it's the end of the, the, the growing season, it's the, the, the last thing you've ever picked from your garden, because everything's dead now, and now we're, we're just eating and gorging ourselves with the shit we've gathered all year, you know, and waiting for the new season to start, you know. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. I, I don't really care if it makes any sense to you because what I'm telling you is what I think Christmas should be. Who gives a fuck about Jesus or Father Christmas or any of those crazy other fucking fucked up stupid stuff that we've all got to believe in? It's, it's about getting together and getting whipping and wailing and having the fucking time of our life for a night, you know what I mean? That, to me, is what Christmas should be about. I would love a fucking Christmas with that. I fucking really would. I bet you would as well. So, let's start to change Christmas from uh, buying shit out of fucking shops and sitting around the table with a dried out fucking burnt turkey. Huh? Let's start building bonfires and going out and whooping and fucking wailing and have the time of a fucking life for one night of the fucking year, you know what I mean? Shit, that would be fucking good. It's only you fucking bad motherfuckers. Hmm. So what do you think? Do you think your Christmas is good or do you think my Christmas would be better? <laughs> There we go.